Hello friends, today we are going to start Indus Valley Civilization. So very important topic of history. Okay, and I'm going to cover everything that uh, generally the questions which are asked in the exams. So listen the video very carefully from the starting to the end. Okay, so let's start Indus Valley Civilization. So you can see an overview of Indus Valley Civilization. Now let's start with the discovery okay how this Indus Valley civilization was discovered so first let's read it what is written here the archaeological excavation during the early decades of 20th century okay when the excavation start during the early decades of 20th century and uh, before that even it was started but not the excavation it was only found okay in the 19th century mid of 19th century that is 1856 to 57 around that I will I will also discuss with you but here the excavation start during 20th century brought to light an extensive civilization which flourished in India Indian subcontinent it should be Indian subcontinent till now almost 1400 settlements belonging to Indus Valley civilization how many settlements belong to the Indus Valley there are near about 1400 we have discovered it we have already found the settlements okay so more than uh, even almost 1400 okay so this is something to remember that almost 1400 settlement discovered uh, which were belong to the Indus Valley civilization now the north south spread of this civilization was 1400 kilometer and the east west spread was 60, 1600 kilometers so this spread it was uh, the in area it was larger than sumerian civilization and even it was larger than e egyptian civilization okay so from because these are the contemporary civilization of uh, both uh, uh, sorry these are the com contemporary civilization of indus valley civilization so this Indus Valley civilization it was larger than both the most of the Indus Valley civilization settlement were located in valley of Saraswati river system which is extinct today okay now at, at some part that is Ghaggar we know it uh, we know it by the name of Ghaggar it is flowing through Punjab okay it is a seasonal river now Saraswati is uh, it is extinct so it was flowing uh, through that area and most of the settlement was uh, discovered or discovered around this river only the river Saraswati was known as the name of Ghaggar in Punjab and Chakra in Baluchistan region this is something very important please underline it mark it as star okay mark it as star you have to mark it like this because in Punjab it is known by the name of Ghaggar and uh, in uh, Baluchistan it is known by the name of Chakra river the oldest name of Indus Valley civilization so now let's sit uh, let's see to it some of the points which are very important that uh, when it was uh, first found it was named as Indus Valley civilization or Indus civilization and according to the arch archaeological tradition the most appropriate name is what Harappa civilization or Harappan civilization according to ge uh, geographical point of view if we see the here on right now we have st uh, studied that what we have read that the most of the settlements they were found around Saraswati river so I told you that you have to mark it as star so now the most appropriate name of this civilization is what what should be in the Saraswati civilization what is the appropriate most appropriate name please note it down now according to the geographical point of view the most suitable name is in the Saraswati civilization and the reason I have already given you okay why because the largest concentration of settlement along the Indus Saraswati river valley okay 80% settlement along the Saraswati 80% settlement was where around the Saraswati now here it is written that the most accepted period is near about uh, 2500 BC to 1750 BC okay this is the most accepted period uh, and it is given by the carbon dating okay it is given by what carbon dating C14 is a method by which we can uh, calculate the age of anything 
okay so when we calculated the age so this is the most accepted period that it belongs it was there before 2500 bc till 1750 bc okay this was the time period now indus civilization belong to proto historic period that is chalcolithic or bronze age age so friends here chalcolithic means what copper okay lithic means stone so it was copper stone age or bronze age okay copper so here please this is something to note it down very important thing that uh, this uh, this civilization was uh, belong to the proto historic period okay before history okay and uh, it uh, this age generally jo is this age age is known by the name of chalcolithic age or bronze age please chalcolithic means copper noted down it is very very important okay now let's so here i would like to explain you something that actually how it was discovered it is also very interesting to know about this okay how it was discovered so friends what happened actually uh, here just near about uh, uh, in the mid of the 19th century okay what happened one here when i was just talking about the uh, i'm just taking you uh, just little bit forward so actually what happened one of the british sorry britishers they were building they were uh, establishing a railway line from karachi is karachi somewhere river on the ravi river okay till lahore okay they were just uh, building a railway line so while excavating this railway line or so, sorry while uh, establishing this railway line one of the engineer mason i think his name was so the mason he found a bricks okay he found some burnt bricks okay and he saw that th that were not only few in numbers they are very uh, very f uh, in huge number they are there okay they are just forming the structure some house like structures okay so he reported that to one Uh, to the head of the archaeological survey of india okay archaeological asi this body is still present okay archaeological of survey of india which take uh, which uh, takes care of all the monuments and all the historical uh, things okay so that time cunningham was the alexander cunningham okay i am writing the name also alexander cunningham he was the head of the chief head of the archaeological survey of india so he went there and he did not do anything much he just found some seals and he he published it okay then later on in 1920 means uh, around 20th century okay in 20th century that is in 1921 okay uh, so that time the archaeological head of india that is asi Uh, this uh, so the archaeological head of india uh, that time was sir john marshall okay he was the head of the archaeological survey of india sir john marshall so actually he excavated this place harappa okay he excavated this place and he found many thing so two were there first one was uh, okay two were there for the this for this work so one was one was dayaram sahani so he took over the uh, for excavation he was the archaeological uh, archaeological head for the harappa okay and another was rakhal das banerji in 1922 he excavated he was the archaeological head for mohanjodaro okay so actually that time the archaeological work started okay this i will we will discuss you but it is very interesting ki while constructing the railway line while just uh, uh, establishing the railway line he uh, some of the engineer he discovered it and reported it and after that it was came into light ki something is like this okay 
and we should excavate it so they found found out that uh, this is really somewhat great civilization it was not like a village or something like that okay so it they have discovered a great civilization that time so this was something you should remember everything here it is written very important oldest name in this valley civilization okay then the most appropriate name tradition okay according to the archaeological tradition most appropriate name is harappa now why harappa is the most appropriate name or harappan civilization because uh, it was the first site to be discovered that as i already discussed with you according to the geographical ge uh, geographical point of view the most suitable name in this saraswati civilization why because the largest concentration of settlement along the indus saraswati valley so 80% settlement found here only okay then what is the most appropriate period it is near about 2500 to 7 uh, 1750 bc okay so agar main time period ki baat karu if i talk about the time period so in this valley civilization can be divided into uh, three time period one is early phase early phase it is near about 3300 to 26000 uh, bc okay uh, 2600 bc sorry then mature phase mature phase this is the most important phase okay mature phase because indus valley civilization was fully developed civilization this time so mature phase was from 2600 to 1900 bc and later phase that is 900 to 1400 bc okay so this is the appropriate uh, this is uh, this is what three phases but the most appropriate one is carbon dating which is uh, what they give the date before this uh, these also okay so they tell uh, so it is near about 2500 bc to 1750 bc old okay so this is the most accepted one now geographical area let's see let's talk about this geographical area also the indus or the harappan culture is the older than the chalcolithic culture but it is far more developed than these culture okay as i told you see this is also come under chalcolithic culture prehistoric period chalcolithic culture but it is older than they, these also older than chalcolithic chalcolithic culture but more developed than chalcolithic culture in uh, it arose in the northwestern part of indian subcontinent where it arose not western part means kashmir telia afghanistan rajasthan gujkach area of gujarat okay so it was uh, where it was uh, arose it sorry where it arose so it arose near about indian subcontinent in northwestern part many sites in sindh form the central zone of the pre harappan culture okay many sites in sindh which are present in the sin what it formed pre harappan culture it formed the central zone of uh, mature harappan culture i have just discussed you about this mature culture also okay that there were three phases okay that first was the early phase then uh, mature phase and the later phase that is the decline phase okay so here the mature phase uh, to so the central zone of the mature culture lay in sindh and punjab mainly ओके पंजाब वेयर दिस हरप्पा वॉज लो हरप्पा और ये सिंध वाला एरिया ओके दैन इट इज फ्रॉम वेयर फ्रॉम हेयर दैट इट स्प्रेड साउथ वर्ड्स एंड ईस्ट वर्ड द एरिया फॉर्म द ट्राइंगल एंड अकाउंटेड फॉर अबाउट सी फॉर हाउ मेनी ईयर्स ट्वेल्व लैक ट्वेल्व लैक नाइन्टी नाइन थाउजेंड सिक्स हंड्रेड स्क्वायर किलोमीटर दिस वॉज द एरिया आई टोल्ड यू दिस एरिया वॉज मच बिगर दैन द Uh, egyptian civilization and sumerian civilization which is larger than ancient egypt and mesopotamia okay i have already discussed this also with you so mark it as a star this is also very important nearly 1500 nearly 1500 harappan sites are known so as so far in the subcontinent okay somewhere it is in 1400 1500 doesn't matter but till here now 50, more than 1500 sites or nearly here 1500 sites have been discovered scholars generally believe that harappa then chagar mohenjodaro axis represent the heart land of indus civilization so friends here 
Harappa it should be Ghaggar not Jhagar okay so Ghaggar river okay so Harappa Ghaggar Mohanjadaro axis it represents the heartland of Indus civilization because around which only the mature phase was existed and the most developed cities were here only okay like okay so capital cities Harappa Mohanjadaro was the capital cities because these were the two main cities two big cities that were discovered port cities means uh, those who are located near the around the sea area so that were Lothal, Sutkangedor, Aladino, then Balakot and Kuntsi so these were the port cities where we were connected to the other civilizations also the Indus civilization was spread over Sindh, Baluchistan, Punjab, Haryana, Rajasthan, Gujarat, Western UP and Northern Maharashtra. So this was the geographical, geographical limit. So let's read it in a short way. Okay, in a just, just in, in just, if we can see and we should know about it. That If you see northernmost site, it was Manda. I will just show you the map also. So northernmost site was Manda in Jammu and Kashmir. Okay, Manda in Jammu and Kashmir and Roper also in Punjab. okay so Manda in it is uh, at the bank of the river Chenab and uh, Roper it was at the bank of the Satluj okay it is in present-day Punjab and it is in Jammu and Kashmir now southern site southern site of Indus Valley civilization it is Dhamabad in Maharashtra okay yeah, Maharashtra. It, this is uh, this line Maharashtra Dhamabad then east then if you move to the westernmost site so the westernmost site of Indus Valley civilization is what Sutkangedor okay so, or it is at Makran coast okay that is Pakistan Iran border Iran okay Iran key border par. and uh, easternmost site if we see easternmost site it was Alamgirpur which is in UP so here one one of the one very important point is written here you should note it down okay very very important point that Sur Kotra that that is in Kutch district Gujarat now Sur Kotra where, where it is located it is in the Kutch district of Gujarat the only in the site where the remains of horse have actually been found this I will explain you later on also but right now you remember this only the horse remains were found in Sur Kotra so we cannot say that they don't know about the horse horse so when we were talking about the animals I will talk about this also so forget about this right now so what we have this what we have discussed I am going to tell you that what were the geographical limits so let's see to it the geographical limits so here Manda okay in Jammu and Kashmir okay so Manda in Jammu and Kashmir and here you can see that the black black dots which are found here okay there the density was very high so here this is the hypothetical path of what Saraswati river and here in near in Punjab okay this is the uh, hypothetical part of Saraswati river okay and here somewhere located uh, Ghagar river okay so this is the uh, now this is an um, extinct okay but you can see that most of the part most of the civilization or most of the cities or villages they were located near around Saraswati river also okay which was the tributary of Indus river so that's why it is known it was known as or it is known as in the Saraswati civilization also okay here also you can find the uh, people living here here also people living here also people living okay so in this area the people were uh, settled okay so this was uh, this these are some places okay Sur, Sur Kotla here in uh, Kutch uh, Kutch of Gujarat okay here here also okay then these are certain areas Rakhi Gadi is also the largest site which were ever discovered till now okay after Mohanjadaro it is or before now earlier Mohanjadaro was the largest site now the Rakhi Gadi is the largest site in India okay now this is the mat better map by which I can explain you the geographical limit okay so here you can see that Indus river is flowing from here sorry Indus river is flowing from this way okay and uh, this is what Harappa is located at the bank of the uh, Ravi river okay then here we can see that Kali, Kali Banga it is also one of the most important site okay then Manda in Jammu in Kashmir this okay then uh, Rakhigadi is also in Punjab Roper is also here okay 
देन आलमगीरपुर समवेयर हियर विच इज़ नॉट शोन एक्चुअली बताया नहीं गया इट इज़ नॉट शोन शोन बट आलमगीरपुर ऑल्सो लोकेटेड हियर बट हियर घनेरी वाला इट इज़ ऑल्सो वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट साइट मोहन जुदारो इट इज़ इन ऑल्सो पाकिस्तान ओके देन दिस धोलावरा सुरकोतला लोथल अलादिनो ओके दिस वर द पोर्ट सिटीज ओके हियर मेहरगढ़ समवेयर इसके पास समवेयर ओके मेहरगढ़ विच इज ऑल्सो वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट ओके बालाकोट ऑल्सो वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट सो दिस वर द पोर्ट सिटीज गॉट इट नॉ पोर्ट सिटीज एंड समवेयर द सिटीज विच आर लाइंग है ना विच आर लाइंग ऑन द बैंक ऑफ द इंडस रिवर और इट्स ट्रिब्यूटरीज ओके ना इंपॉर्टेंट साइट्स इंपॉर्टेंट साइट्स सो लेट्स सी टू इट हड़प्पा सो इट इज इन पंजाब पाकिस्तान ओके मीन्स द एरिया विच इज इन पाकिस्तान सी वॉट पंजाब वी आर हैविंग सो मोर देन दैट लार्जर पाकिस्तान इज प्रेज लार्जर पंजाब इज प्रेजेंट इन पाकिस्तान ओके सो देर इज पाकिस्तान पंजाब इन पाकिस्तान ऑल्सो सो इट वॉज द फर्स्ट इन द साइट टू बी डिस्कवर्ड एज आई हैव ऑलरेडी टोल्ड यू आई हैव ऑलरेडी डिस्कस विथ यू कि दिस वॉज द फर्स्ट साइट टू बी डिस्कवर्ड एंड वॉट आई हैट आई हैव डिस्कस विथ यू दैट सर जॉन मार्शल was the head of archaeological survey of india during 20th century that is near about 1920 21 so he just uh, uh, taken the step to excavate this sites okay and under the supervision of whom dayaram sahani was the archaeological supervisor or archaeological head of this site so he discovered what he discovered harappa and uh, where, where is harappa located on the river ravi The Indus civilization was originally called Harappa civilization after discovery of the site. What Indus civilization was originally called Harappa civilization? Okay, when this site was discovered earlier, it was known by the name of Indus civilization. The vast mounds at Harappa were first reported by Mason in 1826. I told you that the work was going on. The work was going on. So he reported. Uh, so some some whom who was just observed it. It was Mason, and uh, who visited it. It was Cunningham. But he uh, did not do so many work there. Okay. So who was the one who had who has done a lot of work? So under the head. Uh, so under the chairmanship of uh, sir john marshall the excavation work was carried out got it who was the head of archaeological survey of india and what will we found we were i will uh, i'll discuss with you this i, I also discuss with you Okay, so please note it down. This something. This is this is very important. The name of Mason, then Alexander Cunningham. Okay, so these were see earlier. It was already. This site was first observed in eighteen twenty six. Then later on, some work was done in eighteen fifty three. But the most work was done in nineteen twenty one. Also, then nineteen twenty six, Mohenjo-daro was excavated. Okay. Uh, Sorry, nineteen twenty-two, and this Harappa site it was discovered by Watts also in nineteen twenty-six and Wheeler, okay, Mortimer Wheeler. He also excavated it in nineteen forty-six. That I will all uh, that this I will also discuss with you one by one. Now, what are the important sites? So sorry, uh, here let's read about this. The six granaries here are located outside the citadel, but immediately next to in the east-west. so what they were discovered they were discovered six granaries granaries are what you know the granaries they are simple the store house for grains where grain, grains could be stored for what purpose for the purpose if there may there may be any calamity or there may be there may be any disaster or for serving or for uh, for the people so that uh, they can be given Uh, they can be distributed among the people okay so six granaries were discovered which were located outside citadel i will explain you the citadel also don't worry so the barracks or rows of single the important sites that were discovered so uh, please uh, this was the harappa okay 
Barracks or rows of single room quarters are situated just below the walls of the citadel. They probably house slavers. The location of Harappa has led several authors to conclude that it was a gateway city. Two types of burial practices are seen. Haryana's uh, Vi Viharana, oldest Harappan site in India, sub in Indian subcontinent, according to New Archaeological Survey of India. So, friends, here this I will uh, I will discuss with you. See what happened. This is the first urban uh, India's first urbanization. India's first urbanization now what is the simple meaning of urbanization so simple meaning of urbanization means city cities okay so people were living more in cities than villages okay villages we have found villages we have all uh, we have found villages also but the most thing is that what is that most thing the most appropriate uh, that it was the first urban civilization then in Vedic period also we have seen that the villages uh, when we just I will explain you about the Vedic period there, then there also you can see that the people were living in the village there were no uh, any any findings we don't have any findings that we can prove that it was an urban civilization in Vedic period people were living in villages then in Magad period again the urbanization was rose okay or arose so the second urbanization was in the Magad period okay second urbanization was in Magad period so first in the period of and that's really civilization that's why it it is a very important civilization for us people so here you can see that around here you can see many houses and here you can see citadel this is lower raised part okay so citadel was the raised part from the all above area so an Indus Valley civilization was uh, uh, was divided into two part Harappan any Indus Valley civilization be any site so on every site we have discovered that that the civilization was divided into two part the first one was citadel and the other part was lower part as you can see in the picture friends okay now you can see the citadel either uh, it was um, built on a hill on mountains if the mountains or hills were not present they were built on mud bricks okay so citadel was something very important part okay it was very important okay where granaries were located administrators house were present there okay Gr great bath also were uh, was found here only okay and here's uh, just below this they have found certain barracks okay below it and this barracks were made up of single room okay, it is written that okay, this barracks were they were uh, just single room single room means uh, uh, it was just like cell it was just like a prison okay very small single room so uh, it was assumed that uh, they belonged to some labor laborers they were the probably the laborers house okay and uh, several authors what they conclude that it was a gateway city oh now what do you mean by gateway city so friends here i would like to explain you that here that this city was actually covered with a wall you here you can see a wall around it okay you can see a wall of wall, bricks brick wall of brick uh, brick around it so why this was there what was actually uh, the uh, what was actually the importance of this wall so the wall was built or fortified the city was fortified the wall was uh, built around the city so which were surrounding the city so and one gate was there to uh, get inside the city so this wall may be built because of some security purpose maybe some security purpose okay okay and we have seen that it is uh, located on the ri river site okay on the bank of the river uh, like this civilization indus valley civilization indus valley uh, indus river is generally flooded uh, flood uh, generally floods during the rainy season okay so definitely it may be uh, for protective purpose also okay when there is a flood so this wall protect the city from the flood okay so there may be any reason for building this wall because in every site 
every site we have discovered this uh, this wall except chanudaro why chanudaro not having this uh, this wall that i will discuss you with later but, uh, please keep it uh, in your mind okay so what they have found uh, so uh, here it is written that conclude that it was a gateway city two types of burial practices are seen here you can see that two types of burial practices that one here you can see that uh, there is a chamber okay where uh, where you can see that uh, the person or a guy he was just uh, buried under without any coffin okay without any coffin he was buried here along with the pottery okay here you can also see ki one man he was buried with uh, uh, buried with the pottery so might be they were believing in what life after death means they were superstitious people they believe in life after death ki there might be a life after death so they need all these things so all these things are buried here okay and some were just buried uh, under the coffin okay and then uh, they were just kept under the coffin and they were buried and the most important thing was is that ki two skeleton was also skeleton was also found which were buried together so it may it might be husband and a wife or it might be man and a woman so sati pratha was also existed that time it was a question mark it was not because the script was not deciphered yet so we can't say anything okay we can only assume okay it might be happen that time okay so friends here you can see um, what we have found two people buried together okay we have found also the people we uh, the person buried under the coffin also or without uh, without coffin like partial uh, partial uh, burial was burial was also found okay now just came uh, come to the next so import uh, again other finding stone symbols of lingam and yoni yes friends lingam and yoni symbol were also found means uh, they people might be worshiping lingam and yoni okay so uh, as we people also worship linga and yoni okay that is in the form of shiva uh, okay then virgin goddess also found on some seal okay virgin goddess miss matra devi wheat and barley in the wooden mortar so wheat what we found in harappa site wheat and barley in wooden mortar means what they were pract uh, they uh, agriculture practice generally uh, agri agriculture was in practice and the main crops were wheat and barley that time okay copper scale we have so found copper scale and a mirror okay copper scale so which are which means they were they people were known to measurement system also measurement system was introduced that time vanity box what it shown you vanity box we we know that we keep some certain cosmetics in it okay certain things to make us beautiful means they people are a uh, well a uh, uh, well aware about their looks they were fashionable people don't you think if they uh, by this vanity box because they were fashionable people dice also we have found means they were fond of uh, some games also log chasing a deer okay uh, it may be lion not log okay a lion chasing a deer also found uh, around this site okay then other excavation if we see so nude male also found and a nude dancing female was also found so here you can see what we have found a nude dancing uh, female so it is still in archaeological survey of uh, national museum sorry national museum of india delhi so you can go and see to it uh, so you will uh, you will feel more affectionate towards this indus valley civilization then you will read more about it okay because this, she is really present and you can see that she has uh, she she won a lot of ornament here also here also and around here also okay so they people very fond of uh, what fond of ornaments okay and uh, vanity box also we uh, we found their vanity box then pottery uh, then this copper utensils okay bronze utensils and some terracotta toys also now let's read about mohan judaro 
okay so mohanjodaro was uh, also very important site of the civilization friends okay so it is one of the largest site and was discovered by rd banerji in 1922 again please note it down very important both the name rakhaldas banerji sorry uh, rakhaldas banerji and one of was whom one was dayaram sahani okay this both the names are very important dayaram sahani and rakhaldas banerji so dayaram sahani he discovered what he discovered uh, arappa and uh, archaeological survey was carried out by rd banerji in 1922 at mohanjodaro which is in sin now pakistan okay so it is situated on the river indus we have seen that uh, uh, that harappa harappa was situated where harappa was situated at the bank of ravi river and mohanjodaro it is situated at the bank of indus river in sindhi language the word mohanjodaro means mound of that mounds of dead it is also very important to note it down so mounds of dead mound ka matlab maine i have already explained you the meaning of mound mound means some raised platform okay mound of dead means people those who were died now nobody is living here so the people those who are living nearby village they uh thought it that this somewhat haunted place nobody is living here okay and nobody is uh, uh, no uh, no uh, and now many hundreds hundreds of years this place is empty so he they named it like this mound of dead okay mohanjodaro so in this uh, mohanjodaro it is sindhi word okay and what is the uh, english uh, english version of this mound of dead other building include on oblong multi pillared assembly hall and a bit rectangular building which must have served administ served administrative purpose so friends i told you this was an urban civilization so def definitely urban uh, there was uh, some administrative system so uh, what we have found here that archaeological department they have found some multi pillared assembly multi pillared means based on the pillars okay so this assembly or one rectangular building was also found uh, and it was assumed that it may be now other findings are pashupati seal okay pashupati seal bro bronze image of a dancing girl three cylindrical seals and stetite image of a bearded man clay figure of mother goddess dies idol of yogi and granary they were found in mohanjodaro site so here you can see here a pashupati seal was found okay so here you can see that a man sitting in such a position okay like uh, uh, like our goddess shiva he sat in this position only okay and uh, he he was he wore uh, wearing a headgear okay he wear a headgear also elongated headgears and he was surrounded by many animals like uh, he is surrounded by deer he was surrounded by rhino also okay and other animals and just um, it is it it is seeming from the seal that they were just bowing in front of him and he was holding a snake also in his hand okay so this is what as he he is surrounded by many animals so it was named as pashupati seal so and a beard man was also found why it is given with the image of uh, narendra modi it is given with the image of narendra modi because we, during 2014 election actually this uh, this beard man okay he was considered uh, as narendra modi okay narendra modi, uh, modi was considered as this beard man and this picture was uh, uh, very f uh, famous or very viral on internet Uh, that time in 2014 okay so this priest uh, he he might be some uh, on some uh, very highest position or he may be uh, on the highest position or ritual position or uh, he may be a, any uh, the, like rajguru of that time okay so this beard man figure was also very important discovery of that time great bath was also the most important place of public okay so great bath here you can see that great bath so the picture of mother God goddess was also discovered okay picture of mother goddess was also discovered from here so it was assumed that the people just worship mother goddess because this was this mother goddess was discovered from many places 
so no temples were found but the uh, seals and the sculptures of god and goddess were found so they were believed in god and goddess but they were not believing in any temple worship because no temple was found from this civilization great bath was also found so it was uh, assuming that this great bath first of all it was built on citadel so it is great bath may be um, built for some religious purpose for uh, people used to take holy uh, dip uh, deep inside it okay holy dip on inside it sorry okay so and rooms also were changing rooms were also built around it okay there were changing rooms for man and woman separately this was also a characteristic feature of it so uh, a great bath was discovered maybe it may be swimming pool also it may be a religious uh, it may be a uh, served for the religious purpose also okay so and it was having an inlet for the water and to drain the water it was having an outlet also okay so this were this these were the important discoveries of indus valley civilization okay and from mohenjodaro they were discovered so great bath it was used for what it was used for religious bathing steps at either end led to the surface and lead to the surface steps were also there inside the swimming pool inside this great bath there were changing rooms with inlet to the tank and outlet to drown to drown water and the main thing is that it was measured 39 feet 20 feet breadth and 8 feet depth okay and here i would like to tell you this uh, this bath was also made up of bricks and everything was made up of bricks here even the drainage system it was ma made up of bricks okay so no stone was used okay not a single stone was used to build it in in magad period we will see that in okay ki that uh, instead of uh, bricks they were used stones but here they used only bricks to build the things okay and that were also in particular ratio that is 4 is to 2 is to 1 1 4 length 2 breadth and 1 might be height okay now this is great bath now here are some important things that it, uh, I would like to discuss with you here Mohan Jodaro okay Naklis Naklistan that is Oasis of Sindh okay this is also known as Naklistan Oasis of Sindh and uh, it is situated on the bank of the river Indus district Larkana and uh, again the state Sindh province is Sindh country Pakistan who discovered its Rakhal Das Banerjee in 1922 Mackay in, Mackay in 1927 and Mortimer Wheeler in 1930 okay so step by step discovery was there it was it was not like that it was discovered at a time okay see we have seen that it was a serendipitous discovery serendipitous means by by chance by accident it was discovered but later on the excavation work was carried out step by step after a time after a time so at earlier it was discovered in 1922 then 27 then later on it was in 1930 the work was done in 1930 okay Chahan Chahanudaro again very important city I, I told you that it was not fortified it was not surrounded by the wall okay so Chahanudaro was not surrounded by wall because it was an artisan city where the artisan may be uh, might be living there okay because the factories were discovered from this site so no need of administration no uh, uh, no need of administration so may it might be not forti fortified okay it was also on the river of the Indus river you can see the district also Sindh Pakistan and Mackay in uh, discovered in 1995 and NG Majuddar in 1931 then Lothal it is on the bank of the river Bhogwa okay and it is a port city also it is in Gujarat India and SR Rao discovered it Kalibangan Kalibanga that is bangles of black color why it is known as Kalibanga because um, uh, large amount of bangles were discovered which were in black color so it is known as Kalibanga it is at the river of uh, bank of the river Ghaggar it is in Hanumangar district of Rajasthan India again and it was discovered by Amlanand Ghosh okay in 1951 it was later on discovered then B. V. Lal and B. K. Thapar in 1961 when Banavali Ghaggar Fatehabad now let's read about major characteristics of Harappan sites so first we are going to read about town planning and structure 
so friends here town planning was not uniform okay i would like to tell you one thing before explaining it that it was the first urban civilization of india it was the first urbanization of india you can note it down also that it was the first urbanization of india even after this vedic period okay af just after the decline of uh, harappan civilization or indus valley civilization what uh, what do we have we have that vedic civilization so during that even people they lived in villages instead of cities then second urbanization we seen uh, in magadh period okay in magadh period till then we uh, we didn't see any kind of we can't uh, we don't see any kind of uh, urban settlement urban means what urban simply means cities that people they lived in cities that time also so it was an urban civilization so there was a town planning a perfect town planning but the town planning it was not uniform there was no uniformity common feature was grid system that is streets cutting across one another at right angles dividing the town into large rectangular blocks okay so here you can see what was the uh, Uh, town planning that was not uniform but the characteristic feature was that grid system so what is the grid system so if we see it is this is the town planning you can see it uh, mainly the harappan cities they were gateway cities okay what they were they were gateway cities so it was a uh, and the street like this you can see the main streets large rectangular it is divided into the large rectangular blocks okay you can see a part okay here the large part okay that is the higher part so cities they were divided into two part one was the higher part and the other was the lower part so higher part was known as citadel so either on the bricks of mud or some high structure if were there like mountains or like hills so people used to built citadel on the higher part which was the administrative part okay which was which uh, which is ha which were having or the, that part was having administrative importance and the lower part people were leaving uh, common people were living in the lower part so what was the grid system so in grid system generally main street was there okay main street was there and they were cutting each other at right angle where they were cutting right angle like this this was a grid system that were cutting around la at right angle okay even today we can't see this kind of street in india only in developed cities like chandigarh or like gandhi nagar we can see these kind of streets otherwise what do we have we have this kind of street okay ki okay, one road it is going from here then here it is cutting okay then going then moving around and then it yeah it is cutting here okay so we don't have any uniform roads right now but that time the roads were they were uniform there were grid systems so the roads they were cutting each other at right angle perfectly at right angle okay so this was the major characteristic of indus valley civilization okay so you can see that so they just divide the each into rectangular large rectangular blocks the towns were divided into two parts the upper part was the or the citadel i told you there was a upper part i have shown you this uh, earlier also here here so i told you that the upper part it was a citadel this is the upper part you can see it okay so this was having administrative importance and the lower part with the common people were living okay and the, in the lower part what do we what do we uh, found Uh, we got some the some rooms they were barracks okay uh, where it was assumed that might be some labor type of people they might be living there okay so come back to again the fortified citadel on the western side house public build so for the citadel was fortified okay citadel was fortified you can see that in this picture or even in this picture the citadel was fortified fortified means a wall was built around the city now why wall was built around the city so it might be uh, the what was the reason 
because it was in uh, on the river bank of the indus river on its tributaries so we know that the river indus it is famous for its floods okay e even the rivers mainly famous for floods which are rising from northern mountains okay so during monsoon season so might be preventing the uh, cities for that purpose also or what was the other purpose what do you think what should be the other purpose so other purpose for building it for security obviously security is the main cause okay uh, from enemies or from wild animals okay so this uh, it was fortified so this is the fortified citadel on the western side house public buildings and members of ruling class they were uh, they were living there okay below the citadel on the eastern side lay the lower town inhabited by the common people so who lived in the lower part common people common people mainly lived in the lower part you can see that this is the higher part and in the lower part who lived common people okay houses often of two or two stories okay houses often they were two or more stories multi stories generally had side entrance side entrance means generally the houses were not having entrance at the main street if this is main street okay so if this these are the house so they were not having entry here they were having entries here okay at the back street and no windows faced the main street windows were not there in the main street even windows at the back street there was large scale use of burnt bricks okay very good quality bricks burnt bricks and very uh, so, uh, solid also and resistible also and uh, complete absence complete absence of stone buildings see stone buildings uh, we can see in the gupta periods okay in later period but in the in this period in during the settlement of uh, harappa civilization we can find only burned bricks no stone bricks so this is somewhat very important very very important so please mark it as star and here complete absence of stone building this is also very important okay round pillars also are also absent there were no round pillars okay this is also very important now systematic town planning on the lines of grid system grid system i already explained you okay fortified citadel exception chanudaro so please remember this also ki chanudaro it was not fortified i have already explained you why it was not fortified why because it was the artisan place where many factories were discovered okay so no need to protect its this okay no administration was there so it might not be fortified otherwise the citadel uh, or the whole village or whole town it was fortified now drainage system this was also very important important part of indus valley civilization the drainage system was very impressive in almost all cities every big or small house had its own courtyard and bathroom bathrooms even toilets okay so this was the first civilization that they use toilets okay and that can be flushed okay flush means they were not having might not be having automatic flush system but uh, the uh, the leftover can be uh, flushed with the bucket of water wall like like that okay so water flowed from the houses to the street so from these bathrooms or from the waste whatever the waste is waste water is produced it flowed from the house to the back street and from the back street to the main drains okay so this is also very important got it very important point that they were having their courtyard and bathrooms also which is having a proper drainage system what we are having today so they were highly developed okay you can see a drainage system okay this is the drainage system okay which was covered with the wooden uh, which was covered with the wooden blocks or covered with the bricks also they were not open at all okay please remember this that they were not open underground drainage system connected all houses to the street drains so all the drainage system was underground so these bathrooms were built on a pit or the uh, water the waste water go uh, maybe went into that pit and from that pit uh, went into the back 
drainage system and from that back drainage system it was definitely uh, met with the main drainage system so all drainage system connect uh, underground drainage system connected all houses all houses to street drains made of mortar mortar was there that time lime was there gypsum was there okay covered with either brick or stone slabs even with the wood okay quick uh, equipped man hole so main hole was there not man hole main hole was there okay so this shows developed sense of health and sanitation that they people love health and they people love their sanitations also they keep hygienic hygiene uh, hygienes they maintain hygiene drains were built of burn bricks they the quality of domestic bathrooms and drains is remarkable and this even we would not discovered in egyptian and mesopotamian civilization so it was said that ki they were more developed than egyptian or mesopotamian civilization underground any system jant water reservoir in dholavira even in dholavira jant water reservoir was found and the underground drainage system was its uh, was characteristic of the system main characteristic so market as star and even we found a giant water reservoir in dholavira now social life what was the social life of this people it was a highly developed urban way of life society principally consisted consisted of middle class urban people okay mainly middle class people means peasants workers peasants workers are uh, uh, merchants craftsmen they were living in this price pressed also they were living in the societies okay so generally the society was consist of the middle class urban people urban people means the people those who lived in the cities now presence of various classes okay in in this middle class so society was divided into different class and how we come to know that because we uh, we uh, found certain things that we can say that ki there were there were merchants there were craftsmen the craftsmen there were peasants laborers laborers also can be seen okay so the leftovers by seeing the leftover we can conclude that the society was divided into various class the dress of man consisted of two garments the upper and the lower cotton garment so generally the people know that how to cultivate cotton okay so they you they used to wear the cotton clothes which were generally used wool was also used in use different kinds of necklaces have been discovered means they people were very fashionable okay because they used to wear necklaces bracelets okay were used quite common because we have discovered uh, bracelets also vanity case so i already told you that as we have discovered vanity case means they were fashionable people reveals that the harappan women knew the art of wall painting okay and they were fashionable people so here you can see that their dresses how they wear they covered their body body part they also used to wear elongated head gears okay they used to wear elongated head gears they covered their uh, body with lots of ornaments okay and the lower part also they covered their body so you can see that they were fashionable people and they were fond of jewelry uh, jewelry okay now what was the political life there is no clear idea about the political organization of the harappans okay of the harappans we don't have any clear idea ki what was the actually political life because we are not able to decipher the script so definitely we don't have any idea see how uh, how they people they lived or what was their administrative system whether it was based on some hierarchy level or so they follow any democratic criteria so we don't have any criteria about we don't have any idea about this so no temples were found even in this civilization we were not able to discover what we were not able to discover temples okay so we can't say ki the people were religious or how the society was divided so we don't have any idea here we have no religious structures we don't have any idea about the religious structures of any kind except the great bath so great bath even we are not sure that this great bath was definitely meant for religious bathing purpose or 
or for other else it was the swim common swimming swimming pool or we don't know but we assume that this great bath was definitely because everywhere in big cities we found this great bath so it might be for some religious purpose okay uh, for ritual bathing therefore we would be wrong to think that press ruled in harappa okay might be pressed ruling the harappa or not might be ruling the harappa it must be noted that harappans were lacking in weapons so they were peace living people so because we could not find any kind of weapon but during the end of the decline during the decline of this harappa civilization we find some skeleton which were just scattered around the uh, street okay so we can assume that there might be some kind of war or so, but we don't we didn't find any clue that there were such big wars that time happened any big war uh, wars were happened that time so they were peace loving peoples because we can't we were not able to discover any kind of weapons from that place so definitely they were peace loving people okay so please keep it in mind that no weapon were discovered so this is also very very important point okay you have to remember remember this don't forget about this now next the indus civilization was primarily urban i already told you ki it was primarily primarily urban means less of village but more of cities more cities were discovered in comparison to villages people they more number of people lived in cities instead of villages there is no clear cut evidences of the nature of polity but it seems that the ruling authority of indus civilization was a class of merchant because uh, it was uh, some uh, uh, due to some findings okay based on some findings we can see that the those who were author those who were who were uh, politicians maybe belong to the merchant class now how was the religious life what do you think what was the life of the religious people there so let's see to it what was the religious life so chief female deity a terracotta figure where a plant is shown growing out of the embryo of a woman present as sitting in a yogic posture on a low throne and having three faces and two horns so friends a chief female deity was discovered okay and it was shown that from her embryo a plant is growing so it may be matru devi okay matru devi mother goddess okay so they used to worship female means female were having a highest position in the society okay and yogic posture means he was just a set up uh, a seal was discovered uh, where we can see that a, a, a person is sitting in meditation having three faces and two horns and surrounded by the animals okay he is surrounded by what elephant tiger rhino buffalo deer appear at his feet means bowing bowing in front of him so he was considered as that yogic person was considered as proto shiva means some early form of shiva that we worship today numerous symbol of one phallus means lingam and female sex organs made of stone indicate the prevalence of lingam and yoni worship that people used to worship lingam and yoni that time also okay because this is what somewhat uh, uh, representation of generations okay here you can see that in this figure it is clearly mentioned that a person but uh, it is having three faces and many animals surrounding him at his uh, at their feet and bowing in front of him this is the sculpture of mother goddess okay and this is a pressed might this was discovered okay and i earlier i told you he was uh, compared this person was compared with the narendra modi or narendra modi was compared with this pressed okay in 2014 election and this uh, photo was viral on the internet okay so prest was at the highest might be this prest was at the highest position or he was the higher administrator and you can see that ling and yoni was also discovered from this place okay ling and yoni means might be ling uh, lingam and yoni was worshiped that time trees were also people the holy tree 
was people animals like bull birds like doe pigeon and stones were worshiped no temple has been found uh, though uh, idolatry was practiced so people were worshiped the idols but no temple was found please mark it as star this you also mark it as star because bull was found on many seal seals okay and this people believed in ghost and evil forces and used amulets as protection against them they were superstitious people because amulets were also found uh, in this civilization so they believe in ghosts they believe in evil forces the harappan people didn't worship their gods in temple these harappan people they didn't worship the their gods in temple no temple in fact has been understand an idea of their religion is from the sta uh, statues and figurine figurines that were discovered that were found there so we can say that they uh, they practice idol worship but they don't uh, they don't even construct any kind of temple to worship this kind of gods the most commonly found figurine in the mother that is that mother goddess matra devi shakti was also considered as okay matra devi shakti matra devi okay even the prevalence of yogi yoni please mark it as star shiva shakti was also worshiped in the form of uh, lingam and yoni okay appears to have been a part of religious belief in harappa also as we uh, worship Sh shiva and Sh shakti so they also used to worship shiva and shakti shakti and special is what hummed bull was seal on the seal hummed bull was discovered means the uh, this hummed bull was also worshipped it was very uh, prestigious animal that time the remain and relics also reveal that zoolatry means people were believe in animal worship okay zoolatry means animal worship and even people used to worship trees okay the origin of the sh sh uh, swastik symbol can be traced to in the swali civilization we still worship what swastik swastik sign is really it is the sign it was it is said that that it is the sign of aryan people but it was traced from this indus valley civilization because indus valley civilization is more more uh, older than vedic civilization so in vedic civilization we also found the swastik sign so this swastik sign was very holy for them also indra indra is accused of causing the decline of indus valley civilization who is accused indra the de uh, deity of uh, rain okay so it was accused to be the uh, de causing the decline of Indus Valley civilization because the most the mostly people thought that this civilization was uh, declined because of what because of flood okay so because of flood this civilization was declined now burial practices Mohanjadaro so in Mohanjadaro we find three forms of burial complete fractional is in post cremation okay first is first type of complete fractional and post Kalibangam, two forms of burial practice we found in circular and rectangular groove. Now, even pot burial means uh, pot burial means uh, people they buried the people along with the potteries. Lothal double burial and in Harappa we find east west axis. Okay, along the east and west they were buried. And R37 and H symmetry was found. Even coffin burial system was discovered okay you can see that here in picture i have shown you every type of symmetry okay here you can see that along with the a man was buried okay here a man was buried along with the pottery okay here we can see that in coffin also circular also okay and the most importantly found people were buried under the uh, pair system now economic life the Harappa, Harappa economy was based on irrigated surplus agriculture, cattle rearing proficiency in various crafts and brisk trade, both internal and external. So Harappa economy was also based on what? Agriculture. It was an agriculture economy and see, people, see friends, what happened actually if we are um, growing crops for only substantial level it will not give rise to any urban society definitely agriculture we that pe they people produce a surplus amount okay so they can trade if trading is there so 
what do we have we have money if we have money so we can think about other plannings also okay we can progress if we have money so definitely they people from the surplus they can think about the trade they can think think uh, they were also uh, trade in cattle rearing proficiency in various crafts brisk trade was also there brisk trade means both internal also and external also okay internal means uh, uh, they they trade al uh, along with the different different cities like mohenjodaro and uh, along with the okay along with harappan harappan's lothal or they uh, trade with sur kotra okay so they trade among themselves also and they trade with mesopotamians and egyptians also because we have some evidences of these ki they people also trade with the other civilization also okay so this was their economic life so in economic life first read about agriculture so agriculture it was the backbone of the civilization definitely i told you any any civilization say if it is vedic if it is egyptian if it is mesopotamian or whether it is indus valley civilization definitely agriculture is most important part of any civilization so friends here agriculture was the backbone of the civilization the soil was fertile due to in in uh, in inundation of the river indus and flooding okay the soil was fertile why because uh, the rivers flow uh, the rivers they flow from the mountains and they bring the fertile uh, minerals and they deposit at the bank of the river okay so the soil was very fertile even today the northern plains they are very fertile and they are regarded as the bow uh, northern mount plains they are regarded as what they are regarded as the food bowl of india so that time also the soil was very fertile they use wooden plow because iron was not known to people please please mark it as a star that iron was not known to the people so what type of plow they use they use plow wooden plows okay so plow filled so what do what we can how we can say that ki they use the wooden plow plow because we found in kalibangan we found plowed field okay already plowed field means they do not take the seed and just generally they scatter it around first they plow the field and they scatter the seed okay stone sickle was also found okay they used stone sickle for harvesting and gabbar bands or nalas enclosed by dam for storing water were a feature in the part of baluchistan okay see market as star that uh, not everywhere the reservoir were found okay they people might be depend on monsoon but in baluchistan okay uh, they see there were reservoir but no canal system was found but in baluchistan we found gabbar bands or nalas okay which were enclosed by what dam around it which which were used to store water but no canal irrigation system was found here this is also you mark it as star no canals were found okay crops produced were wheat barley date peas sesame okay uh, sesame mustard millet ragi bajra and jowar so because we found evidences of it at lothal and rangpur rice husk were found so they were also grown rice rice now agri uh, first to produce cotton in the world which greek called as sindon derived from sinsi this is also very important that india sorry indus valley civilization was the first to produce cotton even today if we see harappa and mohenjodaro which is in uh, now pakistan region so having very fertile soil and export a lot quantity of uh, cotton to other parts of the world even britishers they came to india because they learned by cotton uh, variety of cotton that we grow here so after industrialization they need cotton so from there we get uh, from there we, they got this cotton they got this co very very fine variety of cotton from india only okay so that time also india was producing a very fine variety of cotton that no one in the world could produce okay so that time also uh, indus valley civilization produced cotton and from where we got we got it from greece greek okay and greek called is sindon sindh area okay what it called as sindon 
cotton. Cotton was known as Sindon, which was derived from Sindh area. A fragment of woman cotton cloth was found at Mohanjodaro. We got only a fragment of woman cotton. Means they know, they knew that how to weave the cotton, how to, uh, uh, how to wear the weaving clothes. Indigo was evident from Rojdi. Please mark it as star. Very very important. Well irrigation from Aldino. Okay, that. Uh, agriculture system was there so I told you no canal system but well irrigation system was famous dams and irrigation canals from Dolavira okay canals were found but only in Dolavira not anywhere else sugarcane was not known to Indus people please marketed a star that they were knowing about what they were knowing about uh, weed barley dates peas sesamum mustard millet ragi bajra but not Cotton was also known to them, but sugar cane not known to them. Main crops were wheat and barley. Okay, evidence of cultivation of rice in Lothal and Rangpur only. Please mark it as star that might be this region were famous for rice cultivation. Okay, uh, or they were having in such a place that the climate is suitable for rice cultivation. So rice, the evidences of rice cultivation was found from Lothal and Rangpur. That is in Gujarat. Please mark it as star. Other crops, dates, mustard that I have already discussed with you. Okay, the Harappans were early, earliest people to produce cotton. Okay, it was called Sindon by Greeks. Cotton was called by Sindon by Greeks that have, we have already discussed here. Domestication of animals, animal rearing was practiced. They domesticated buffaloes, sheep, oxen, asses, goats, pigs, elephants, dogs and cats. Okay, so they domesticated animals for different different purposes. Camel bones are reported at Kalimangan. Please mark it as star that uh, camel bones are reported at Kalimangan because we have seen that Kalimangan it is near Rajasthan. Okay, so they did not know about the horse except a jawbone of horse which has been recovered from Sur Kotra. Okay, okay, and here see they were not domesticated horse horse was not domesticated by them they were not uh, because uh, in india good 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 quality of horses were not available might be they uh, just imported it from central asia because still we have good quality uh, central asia having good quality of horses but we don't having so they do, didn't know about the horse we can't say that because we discovered the bones of horse from Sur Kotra in Gujarat and also figurine of horse figure clay figure of horse from Lothal got it so we can we can't say that they didn't uh, they didn't know about the horse they know about the horse might not be whole civilization but a part of the civilization maybe know about the horse because we have discovered from Sur Kotula, which is in Guj Gujarat. The bones, please mark it as star. This is also very important that the jawbone of the horse was discovered from the Sur Kotula and the figure of horse, clay figure of horse from Lothal. They did not know about the lion. Okay, this is also very important. Animals, sheep, goat, humped, humped humpless bull, even humped bull and humpless bull because we got the seal, hum humped bull seal. Buffalo, boar, dog, cat, pig, fowl, deer, tortoise, elephant, camel, rhinoceros, tigers, etc. The the uh, tigers were known to them, but lion were not known to them. Lions was not known to Indus people from uh, Amri. A single stance of the Indian rhinoceros has been reported. Please mark it as star. The rhinoceros from where Amri say. Okay, now you can see how could we know about that? They were knowing the about the animals here you can see this is humpless bull okay we can see the humpless bull on the seal the seals were very important maybe using from trade purpose but coins were not discovered okay so the seals so here you can see the seal of what seal of hump humped bull and uh, very decorated bull it was okay so might be for religious purpose also okay you can see here also they were know knowing about the uh, different animals and Pashupati on Pashupati seal uh, we have found deer okay elephant tiger bowing in front of him now trade so what was the main thing agriculture 
obviously agriculture backbone of every any civilization so surplus amount surplus surplus production was there so they can think about others if if our belly is fulfilled so they, they definitely we can think about the other things also so there were industries forest produce also their basis of for internal and external trade trade was based on barter system as i, I told you because there was no evidence of coins weights and measures were made up of limestones steatite etc generally in cubical shape here you can see that it is they are cubical okay they are not flat they are cubical seals barter system means they exchange the things uh, for example if uh, i am sending wheat to harappa if any trader sending wheat to the harappa so the harappa people is uh, they are uh, might be send some humped wool seal to that part because it may be for transaction it may be uh, an instrument for transaction purpose okay because no coin system was there barter system was there barter system is exchange of good if they are sending wheat to a similar amount of uh, uh, terracotta pottery or similar amount of copper pottery can be sent to the mohenjo-daro people or to the other civilization so this was only the exchange of goods uh, okay there were no coins they simply exchange the goods for trade purpose okay so weights even weights and measures were known to them okay and they were in the multiple of 16 this is also very important friends to note down see we are having 16 gb print drive 16 gb than 32 okay the pen drive that we use it is of 16 gb then 32 gb then 64 and so on so might be they were having the microsoft brain okay say so they also use 16 32 64 and so on okay several st sticks inscribed with major marks have been discovered because how we discovered how we because we can decipher we are able to decipher something and we are able to decipher it also that uh, sticks that measurement scale scales we got sticks mili hai we got scale, uh, scales okay and they were having multiples they are in the multiples of 16 it points that linear system of measurement was in use linear system we are also having linear, linear system of measurement what we are having we are having 50 gram weight also okay 100 gram also then 500 gram also then 1 kg also okay so it is the multiple of 5 it is in the multiple of 5 but they were using in the multiple of 16 this is very interesting to know that okay market as star their trade relations with surtgai and mundikak in afghanistan means uh, with afghanistan people they have trade relations altindep and namazaga as in turkmenistan and tepeyaya and shari sokta in iran dilmun that is bahrain and makan that is makran coast were two intermediate stations indigo was exported to egypt we have found some evidences that indigo was also expect uh, exported to the egypt and uh, some seals also discovered from egypt that seals were discovered from found from indus valley civilization so it were even from mesopotamian civilization the same seals were discovered from all civilization means they were having all people were having trade relationship and i already told you these seals were regarded as or they were used for some uh, they were the instruments for the transactions like check generally we check we use or they not exactly check but uh, Uh, might be for transaction purpose they use this seal okay now trade uh, again indus valley civilization maintain mention is mehula meluha sorry in sumerian literature evidence of trade between dilmun and makan from sumerian text was found please it mark it as star this is also very important that sumerian literature we found that they have mentioned it as meluha okay dilmun and they have trade relation with the sumerian uh, from sumerian text we got th uh, we got this evidence that they have trade re relationship with dilmun and makan coast makran coast that is seals of indus valley have been noticed from ar kis susa and logos towns of mesopotamia 
Mesopotamian cylindrical seals have been found from Mohenjo-daro. Figure of Hanbul on Mesopotamian seal use of Mesopotamian cosmetic products by the Harappan. See, this is very very important that I told you that uh, Mesopotamian cylindrical seals that uh, we uh, in Indus Valley civilization they use cubical seals but in Mesopotamia they use cylindrical seals. So Mesopotamian cylindrical seals were found in Mohenjo-daro. Okay and figure of Hanbul on Mesopotamian seals it what it revealed it reveals that they were having what they were having trade relations and the people of Harappan's Harappan civilization they use cosmetics from the Mesopotamian people okay coffin made burials have been a foreign phenomenon so coffin maybe uh, they just uh, imported coffins from Egyptian civilization from other civilization okay so this is also very important market as star market this also star There were extensive inland and foreign trade. We have evidences. Foreign trade with Mesopotamia or Sumerian, Bahrain, etc. flourished during the Sumeria, now modern Iraq. Okay, this is what modern Iraq. So, whether we call it Mesopotamia also or Sumeria, or now this is modern day Iraq. So, they have flood, uh, sorry, trade relationship and it was flourished during the mature phase. Exports, agriculture products, cotton goods, terracotta, fig reeds, pottery, certain beads from Chanudharo that we got, conch shell from Lothal we got and ivory products from copper etc. They were trade in this thing. So export, this was the export of Indus Valley civilization. A very interesting feature of this civilization was that iron was not known to the people. I already told you, marketed star, this is also very important. Now art and architecture, the Harappans were utilitarian although not completely devoid of artistic sense. Okay, Their most notable artistic achievement was their seal engraving. The major artistic work of Harappan were, here we can see that what was Harappan pottery. So let's read about it one by one. So friends, they make potteries mainly artistic sense. They were having artistic sense, but mainly it is meant for utilitarian purpose, means for the utilization. Okay, but they are not dividing of dividing of artistic sense. Their most notable artistic achievement was their seal engraving. What is the artistic achievement? Means seal was not simple. It was engraved. It was like emboss. Okay, emboss. Have you seen emboss painting? So similar to that, the seal they have made. Now Harappan pottery. Harappan pottery is bright or dark, dark red, and is uniformly sturdy and well baked also. Okay, so they were having uh, mainly the bright in color and dark red color potteries were discovered, which was well baked. Script is also engraved on it. It is chiefly wheel made and consists of both plain and painted ware. The plain uh, variety be being more common. What was the more common? Plain potteries were more common instead of engraved pottery. Harappan people use different types of pottery such as glazed, polychrome, incised, perforated and knobbed. Because we got the evidences. The glazed Harappan pottery is the earliest example of its kind in the ancient world. On the whole, Harappan pottery was highly uti utilita uh, utilitarian in character, though the painted design on some pieces show a remarkable artistic touch also. Here you can see that their pottery. Generally dark and shiny in color. Okay? And how beautifully they made it. It was baked. Okay? Harappan seals, the seals commonly are made of, made of statite. Statite, a soft stone. The technique of cutting and polishing these seals with white luster was a unique and invention of the Harappa. It was unique. Okay, nobody can create this type of, at that time nobody was able to create this type of seals. Okay, so it was a unique characteristic of Harappa. Please note it down that the seals were made up of a stone. It was, the stone name was Titrite. Okay, and uh, this were, uh, they, they were polished. Okay. And white luster was on them. It was a unique characteristic of Harappa. The majority of seals have an animal engraved on them that I have already shown you. 
I have shown you many a time. Okay, seals here. You can see that in every seal you can see that animals are there. It might be elephant, it might be bull, humped bull, humpless bull, deer also. Okay, even Pashupati seal we have discovered along with the, along with what? Along with the animals. And they have also written something on it. Unicorn is the animal most frequently represent represented on this. Unicorn means humpless bull. The famous bull seal was found on Mohanjodaro. Main types are as follows: the square type with a carved animal and inscriptions, which are main mainly common. The rectangular type with inscriptions only. Inscriptions means something is written on that. Statite image of a bearded man is also excavated from Mohanjodaro. Statite means made up of white stone, soft stone. Okay, so I told you that uh, please mark it as star because again, again I'm I'm telling you it is very important that a bearded man uh, statue was also excavated. Might be a priest, okay, or on a, any highest administrative authority. About two thousand seals have been recovered from Harappa site. So huge amount of seals were discovered, and I already told you it was used for. Trade purpose. Humpless bull is represented in most of the Indus seals. Okay, what was discovered? Humpless bull, that is unicorn. Okay, now script and language. See, script and languages are undeciphered. I told you again and again. So on the seal, see, uh, if we again move to the seal, so you can see that something has been written on this seal. Every on every seal, here also something written. Okay, so this this is this what they have actually written. We have not deciphered it yet, but one day it, uh, when it would be deciphered, so we will know lot. We will come to know lot about the Harappan civilization. Okay, script was pictographic in nature. Pictographic means uh, they made generally pictures. Pictography means it is of pictures. And Bro Bostrophodon uh, script was there. Now, what do you mean by this Bostrophodon? It is not written here, Bostrophodon, but uh, it is written here. Bostrophodon. Bostrophodon means what? Uh, how actually? How do we write English? Means we are writing English in this direction, and again we are starting from this row. Again we are starting from this row. Again we are starting from this row. But in Bostrophodon script, they start from this row and they again take a turn and start from this row and again from this and again from this so this is the bostrophedon okay and it was a pictographic script means from left to right again from means uh, first from right to left then from left to right in the second line again from uh, right to left the style is called Bostrophedon, a sing signboard inscription bearing ten pictograph has been found from Dholavira in Gujarat. Mark it as star. Seal, you can see what is written on the seal. We can't decipher uh, deciphered it yet, but one day we will decipher. Okay, this is the signboard that were discovered from the Mohanjodaro. Okay, Mohanjodaro and one. Indus Valley seal as usually oriented, 180 degree oriented. Okay. Signs a uh, sign sequence is same as the Chinese language. Okay. Here this means that was it was deciphered that okay, this means okay it is celebration year celebration. Okay. The script has not been deciphered so far, but overlap of letters on some of the Post sheds from Kalibanga show the that writing was bust, uh, Bostrophedon that I have already discussed with you. What is Bostrophedon? Please note it that the oldest script in India's Indian subcontinent is Harappan script. The oldest script is pictographic script, Harappan script, but the oldest deciphered script is Brahmi. Okay, known from about 15th century BC. Most later Indian script developed from Brahmi only. 
Fire back clay was to be make uh, to make toys. Many toys were discovered. See, many many toys were discovered from the site. So might be many children were living there, or might be only children were living there because this philosophy was also given by someone, some foreign uh, archaeologist. Okay, but uh, obviously for people they were not able to. Uh, they see. Uh, only people uh, children can't live in in any civilization but the they were fond of toys okay because a lot of toys were discovered okay objects of worships were also discovered okay terracotta figures so clay figures like toys okay were discovered were uh, animal objects of worship animals like monkeys dog sheep cattle humped and humless bulls also discovered from the sites both in male and male and female figurines were also discovered now the decline of indus valley civilization this is very important different people have given different views so external aggressions so what are the external aggressions willer that may might be other people came and they attacked indus valley civilization like vedic people aryan people they came and attacked them okay so willer okay and uh, who who had given this pigot jordan and other people have given this then mr sahani in a, in un, in unit unitations then kvr kennedy maybe epidemic may come like flood marshall and ricky rex tectonic disturbance means maybe earthquake at example dholavira willer sudden decline no cause sudden suddenly it was declined but see uh, sudden the whole civilization can't be declined okay it was not a sudden attempt it might be uh, it was uh, many years okay because the whole civilization can't be declined uh, in a, a by any incidents Cli climate change may be possibly possible uh, possibilities are there because we have found certain evidences like people earlier living in indus valley civilizations near saraswati river when when the saraswati river dried up people moved to the ganga also we have evidences of that so we may consider this deforestation scarcity of resources ecological imbalance okay walter fair service flood mohanjodaro because we got uh, evidences of flood in mohanjodaro marcel uh, uh, sr rao mckay mckay now destructions due to change in course of river ghaggar that i already told you gf holes now lothal was an ancient port of indus valley civilization peace market as star site for trade also now just uh, so this were the, the uh, these were some theories for what these were some theories for the decline of indus valley civilization all of them may be correct okay because one thing would not be possible for the decline of whole civilization which was even larger than mesopotamian and egyptian civilization okay now just have a look that what we uh, what we found from different different sites from harappa we find we found six granaries market as star okay uh, working floors workmen's quarters virgin goddess symmetries that is two type of symmetries r and r37 and h symmetries okay stone symbols of lingam male sex organs and yoni female sex organs painted pottery clay figures of mother goddess wheat and barley in wooden mortar copper scale crucible for bronze copper made okay mirror vanity box dice it sector monjodaro great granary great bath the largest building of civilization okay this is the largest building great granary and great bath both uh, assembly hall shelt strips pashupati mahadev or proto shiva seal maybe you can call it pashupati also you can call it mahadeva also and proto shiva bronze image uh, of a nude women dancer that i have already told you it is a uh, captain national museum statite image of beard man this is also very important human it was discovered from mohanjodaro human skeleton huddled together means uh, in pair huddled together means pair they were buried painted seal city without a citadel also discovered that is chahanudaro why without citadel and without fortification because uh, it was the place it was the city of artisans definitely lipstick metal worker shell ornaments makers and bead maker shops imprints of dogs pawn brick terracotta model of bullock 
bullock cart, bronze toy cart, etc. Now, Lothal dockyard, dockyard. See, this is very important. The dockyard was discovered from Lothal. See here, you can see that it, this is the dockyard of Lothal. It is an artist imagination. This is the whole port city. Uh, in this, uh, the river is flowing through it. So, water is coming from once. The water is coming from here, moving this side, and the silt is deposit deposited here. Okay, and the water, the silt once it is deposited here, the the water is coming here and then moving here, and again the water is moving to the another part of the river. See, siltation is the common cause. Okay, common cause for the um, any port, uh, or it it is not good for any port because then uh, uh, harb uh, then because of that trading through uh, the ship. Uh, would not be possible okay because it becomes a uh, shallow the ports become shallow okay but the indus valley civilization they found a uh, they found a solution for this problem and you can see in this picture what was the solution of this uh, problem okay even the haldia port haldia port which is in kolkata okay in, on hugli river bank so it was uh, uh, there was a problem of silting so it became again it becomes again and again shallow but now we are having uh, machine so we can solve that problem but during that time no machine was there so they used this type of system you can see the system here okay that how beautifully it was made so they people very they people were very minded a uh, rice husk was also discovered only from lothal marketed star metal workers shell ornaments makers and bead maker shops were also discovered far altars terracotta figurines of horse okay that we have discussed discover, uh, discussed that horse was not known not known to the people but uh, bone jaw bone of horse was discovered from surkotra but the figurine of horse was discovered from lothal very very important market star double burial was also uh, that is uh, burying a male and female in a single grave was also discovered from this lothal only might be sati was pr the people's practicing sati pratha also okay persian and Ir iranian seal means they were having trade relationship with uh, mesopotamian people baharinian baharinian seal and painted jar that is bird and fox was painted on it was also discovered Okay, Kalibangan. What we got? This is market star, plot filled. Seven fire altars means fire altars means uh, they uh, believe in yagya and other things. Okay, decorated bricks, wheels of toy cart, toy cart, Mesopotamian cylindrical seal was also discovered from where Kali Kalibangan. L then Banavali lack uh, lack of chess board means they chess was discovered from India. Okay, or Gridrion pattern, town planning, lack of systematic drainage system in Banavli. In Banavli, they were not having proper drainage system, but town planning was uh, there. Toy pl uh, pl clay figurines of mother goddess was also discovered from Banavli. Dulavira, a unique water harnessing system was. Dulavira, they were having reservoir, okay, harnessing system, and it's storm water drainage system. Means when there was storm or when there was a uh, uh, flood. Okay, so they were having a system, uh, uh, system to res uh, to preserve the water, to store the water. A large well was also discovered, and a bath, giant water reservoir, was discovered from Dolavira. Only site to be divided into three parts. It was only a site which could be divided into three parts. Largest Harappan inscriptions used for civic purpose was also discovered from it, and even a stadium, means the people were fond of some games. Surkotara bones of horse, oval grave, and pot burials. Demabad bronze image means Demabad. It is in Maharashtra. It is the southernmost boundary of what boundary of um, Indus Indus Valley civilization. Caryotier with caryot, ox, elephant, and rhinoceros were discovered from this from Demabad. Monjudaro noted the largest site of Indus Valley civilization, but now after the discovery in 2014, okay, Rakhi was the largest Indian site, but now the Rakhi is the largest site of Indus Valley civilization. It is in India, and Monjudaro it is in Pakistan. It is near about 300 square 
kilometer and it is 350 square kilometer in area so the largest site of Indus Valley civilization is what it is Rakhi Gadi now common feature of major cities inhumation, inhumation or complete burial was the most common method of disposal of the dead this is the common feature of every Indus uh, cities the Rigveda speaks of a battle at a pay place named Hari Yumpia, which has been identified with Harappa. So they were uh, they were also having battle, but they were peace loving people. Okay, because we didn't find any kind of what any kind of uh, we can say that we didn't find uh, found uh, we didn't find any kind of weapons. So they were peace loving people. The majority of scholars believe that the makers of this civilization were Dravidian. Okay, which were uh, uh, which were driven away by the Vedic people or Aryan people. Contemporary civilization was Mesopotamian, Egypt and China. Please mark it as star. China was also contemporary civilization of this. Okay, so this is all about Indus Valley civilization. Thank you.